You've been longing for something but nothing seems to fill the void? Are you confused, lost or simply don't understand? Are you unsure of what to say and when to say it? Do you feel like you are just wasting your time? Or are the effects wearing off? Well, you have tuned into the right place. Today we introduce something extraordinary, everlasting, accessible to all and life changing. E hope. Join our hostess Nita Bailey as she shares more. I am Nita Bailey and I am here to introduce you to something so spectacular and it's 100% guaranteed. E-Hope has been used by many disciples, apostles, and men and women of God from the creation of the world. One of the most prominent apostles in the early church used E-Hope in his complicated missions, ministering to both Gentiles and Jews. As a member of the early church, I was amazed to see the effects of E-Hope in Paul's life. Even though this was not an easy calling, he hoped help him, helped him to teach the Gentiles about Jesus and his sacrifice and show them the character of Jesus in a way that they would understand. E hope is definitely something that you can give and receive. Paul used it to give milk to the baby Christians and more solid sustenance to the more mature believers. It is also amazing that it gave him the ability to balance encouragement with reproof, which helped him to meet the needs of people from every walk of life. Ehope really helped Paul know how to share Bible truths in a meaningful way. One of the basic doctrines that he felt was important to teach was that Jesus' second coming. Eho gave new beliefs like my knowledge that Jesus would come again. The dead would be raised. All of us who accept Jesus' sacrifice on our behalf would live with him forever. As I said, Eho is just what you need as a Christian. It helps you to see that the watchful Christian is a working Christian. This Christian seeks zealously to do all in his power for the advancement of the gospel. As love for his Redeemer increases, so also does love for his fellow men. The Christian has severe trials, as had his master, but he does not allow, allow affliction to sour his temper or destroy his peace of mind. He knows that trial, if well born, will refine and purify him, and bring him into closer fellowship with Christ. Those who are partakers of Christ's sufferings will also be partakers of his consolation, and at last, sharers of his glory. He hope offers you this and so much more. It's internally fascinating. He hoped to help Paul win converts like me to Christianity in spite of the great opposition. Even when he had to leave the New Thessalonian church before it had become firmly established in the face of tragedy, fear and possible persecution, Paul sent Timothy to them to encourage them and to report back to him on how they were doing. For sure, he hoped isn't the one person alone. There is enough for everyone. In hope offers you 100% hopeful satisfaction guaranteed for all eternity. Another great quality of ego is that it always seeks to send the right message at the right time. You see, when Timothy reported back that the new converts were standing firm in their faith, Paul wrote First Thessalonians, his letter to them and encouraged them to live holy lives. He hope inspires God's people to be sanctified, to control our bodies in ways that are holy and honorable, and to love one another. He wrote Second Thessalonians 
not long after 1 Thessalonians, as a PS of sorts, explaining what they had misunderstood. E-hope is always there to clarify things and give hope when it is needed most. For Paul, he used e-hope to deal with the situation with the Thessalonians. In their zeal for the gospel, and to demonstrate their belief that Jesus' coming was in the very near future, some of the members of the church stopped working their professions. The problem with this is that they would have been a burden to those who were still working and an object of ridicule on believers. Paul wrote 2 Thessalonians insisting that they needed to continue working their regular jobs and not waiting idly for Jesus to return. Paul outlined some of the things that had to take place before Jesus would return, namely the coming of the Antichrist. E-Hope really has a way of helping you to get ready for the second coming. Through the ministry of Paul, new Christians were taught some very important lessons about living a Christian life and about our hope of Jesus' second coming. E-Hope really reminds us that being a beginner doesn't make a person less important or less loved, but it does give seasoned believers a special responsibility to encourage and support that person. E-Hope has a strong compassionate component that instead of giving into the urge to judge someone by their actions or attitudes, we remember that they might be at a different level of understanding or at a different place. In their relationship with God, we can be more patient and deal with them differently. Here we see firsthand that Ehob does wonders for new believers. But you may be wondering, what about those who have heard the good news repeatedly and the effect seems to wear off? Those who do not know what the good news really means in our lives. Those who take it for granted. Many people have been raised since infants knowing that Jesus will come again, but fail to see what life would be like without that eternal hope. Well, look no further. E-hope is a thing you need to get everything back on track. E-hope can help you see that God is really giving you and can give you a new realization of your responsibility toward others in their spiritual goals. Service then can become central to your life. You realize that witness matters. That it is that is how you represent God to unbelievers, new believers, or seasoned believers. Ego is the best antidote against being one of those who close their eyes to the evidences that Christ has given to warn men of his coming. Some people seek to quiet all apprehension, while at the same time the signs of the end are rapidly fulfilling, and the world is hastening to the time when the Son of Man shall be revealed in the clouds of heaven. Eho gives you the comfort and reassurance that Jesus is coming, and that the pain and sadness of this world will not last. Eho helps you to stick with it, motivates you to make your calling an election show and reminds you to have a meaningful relationship with God, living with a blessed hope that things will be perfectly restored one day soon. E-Hope comes with an eternal seal of approval. You can get your eternal hope for free. Yes, you heard it, for free. The bill has been paid in full. As a special bonus, we will remind you to spend time building a meaningful relationship with God through prayer, Bible study, and Christian witnessing. Your eternal hope will not grow weary or cut off. This offer is given to you 
absolutely free. Be sure to get your eHope today. Warning, warning. E-hope is only available to those who choose this priceless gift. If you continually refuse, the consequences can be fatal and result in eternal damnation.